Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Oh my gosh, you guys, I got sick last week, so I'm finally feeling better. <laughs> so I had time to do some crafting this week, uh, or this weekend, I should say, which I need to get a get a move on it because I am in uh, doing a swap. So um, let me show you guys what I created. I decided to do some more Valentine's projects. Um, I did, of course, pick up this cute paper. You guys know I love Doodlebug. So I got the Lots of Love collection, um, which I purchased from Frank uh, Garcia Studio. Um, so anyways, you know, I got uh, all of the trimmings and all the cute stuff. And this is really super adorable paper. So I'm super excited about that. You guys, I also picked up the Christmas one. And I didn't get a chance to use it. <laughs> I bought it right before I was going on vacation and I didn't even get a chance to open it or and or use it. So anyways, I finally did and um, I'm loving all of the, the collections they've been coming out with um, lately. So anyways, let's just jump right in. Um, this is a Valentine's project. Um, so um, I wanted to make a kit um, basically. Um, that has uh, Valentine's cards in it. So I'll show you what I created. Um, I am gifting this to someone and I'll show you kind of what I did. Of course, I didn't think of this idea. I think Anna and I were gonna do one a couple months back and we kind of not never got around to it. Um, but I was inspired by something that I saw on Pinterest. So I wanted to uh, give it a try. And um, I came up with all my own measurements and all of that um, to put it together. But this is what I created. It's a cute little Valentine's book um, that holds cards that the other person who I'm giving it to can use the cards to send to other people. So anyways, um, I did create the binding. So I did go ahead and start off with 110 paper, which most of the time, if I don't use chipboard, I'm always going to at least have... A piece of 110 um, paper in there so that it's nice and strong um, instead of me just trying to use collection paper I start with a base of 110 and then I layer paper on top so let's start with the cover so of course you see the white is the 110 and then I've layered some red and some collection paper on top of it this super cute um, I decided to make this heart. I've seen this made lots of time and a lot of people sew it. Unfortunately, I can't do that because I do have a sewing machine, but it's in storage and I'm not that good at sewing. So anyways, um, so I just layered mine and I just um, adhered mine together with hot glue after I scored it down the center of uh, each of the hearts. So this is a, a nesting heart uh, die set that I have. So I pretty much cut out all of them except for the super tiny ones. And then I just scored them down the center and then just adhered one to another and then added it to the front so turned out super duper cute in between the layers of the hearts I've added gems and little pieces of the um, like ephemera from that uh, collection just kind of tucked it in there um, so in between the layers so it looks nice and fluffy um, this is a doodle pop um, which I, I love the doodle pops with this particular collection so super fun and you know just kind of in between I've added um, this is a piece of the um, ephemera as well um, this little uh, card thing came with this doodle pop as well as this one so I just kind of uh, randomly added those on I did go ahead and use one of the banner pieces I did put it up on foam tape and then just added some gems off to the side. I love this little cloud. So cute. I love that everything has a face. I think that's why I love Doodlebug so much. <laughs> so anyways, and here is the spine of my book. I did go ahead and um, on all of the layers, you'll see that I did um, red and then a piece of the collection paper on top. Just so it's so super sturdy. Um, this is one of the um, pieces of the chit chat. Um, this is also one of the um, ephemera pieces. The hearts, I just used a little heart punch to add those on, but this of course came with the ephemera because you can tell by the cute little face on there. Um, I did want to go ahead and add uh, a dangle charm to it. 
Um, so I just added various little pink bits um, that I picked up here and there. This cute one that says XOXO was gifted to me by Marissa, who is Creative Young Mama. So I went ahead and added that on. Of course, I put a little eyelet there and then just attached it to a, a large lobster claw and just put some charms and little fun things on here that are valentine's ish a lot of these things were gifted to me um some of them i bought but um just over time people have given me all kinds of cute little stuff so i decided to add a dangle charm you guys i'm so lazy about i always want to put a dangle charm on everything but usually i'm too lazy to do it but today i was feeling it or this weekend i was feeling it so i decided to go ahead and add that cuteness on there and then here's the back piece which i just created another little pocket and um then i just these are tags this is on one of the pieces of paper that was in there and it just has tons of cute little tags in there so i just uh, cut apart some of those and then just stuck them in the little uh, pocket there this is another one of the ephemera pieces as well as this but just loving how this turned out now if you can kind of see it from this angle you can see i added some pockets one side's for the envelopes, the other is for the cards. And then I just used a cute piece of little ribbon to uh, kind of close it, in which I tucked it under the layering pieces. So let me open it up. So super fun. I just love how this turned out. Um, I used some hearts and then I layered again some more of the ephemera pieces on there. I put that little cute piece down the center of the spine. So that looks decorated as well. I also included a cute little pen in there for the person to use to fill out the cards. Because again, I did make the cards, but I left them blank so that, you know, the person can share them with other people. Here's the envelopes that I made. These all measure, I think six by three and a half um, is the one that I used on the score on the scoreboard. And then I just did them in all different um, patterns from the collection. So cute. So what I did was I made a coordinating card for each envelope. So like for instance, this one right here with the little clouds on it. Here's the card that goes with that. And I just mostly used ephemera. Uh, from the collection, um, just kind of kept them pretty simple and cute. And then, of course, whomever I give it to can go ahead and um, share a little note in there and send it to someone. But I did that for all of the, the different pieces of paper. So here's all the cards that I made. And again, just all blank and just very basic and simple little cards using either death you know die cuts from my collection as well as some of the ephemera pieces so i love 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 how this turned out so super cute and it was fairly easy to make and even come up with my own little um, measurements so that i can put it all together but i love how that turned out and then the pen just kind of uh, sits off to the side over here and then they can have a cute little pen to do their cards and then the envelopes go on the other side but super super cute and fun and pr fairly easy to make <clears throat> the other two things that i made i just made some cute little tags um, i found this little cut in my cricut that says be mine um, and then I just added my, um, and even the tag itself, I found that in my Cricut as well. Then I added um, some of these cute little, what are they called? <laughs> I get, you guys know what it is. Um, and I just added that on there, put some gems, I put some hearts up on some foam tape. Polka doodles, that's what it's called, uh, which I've used that one before. And then I also purchased this one. Um, from polka doodles as well and I kind of did something similar but I just used a different little girl on there but love 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 and I had such a blast putting it together and I really hope um, that the person that I give that to will get some use out of it and 
really enjoy it so thank you guys so much for stopping by take a look at my projects and i will talk to you guys all very soon have a great week coming up and don't forget to follow me on instagram it's always in the description box below and feel free to leave me comments and tell me how you like the projects so i will talk to you guys all soon bye have a good week